Hey, I'm Lillian Sandy, aka Lillian Motivist, and this is Lillian Preach. So today we are back again because we love to meditate and just study the word of the Lord because that makes us to keep on improving improving it gives us wisdom and it waters our soul our mind our body so you know how we do it we are going to be looking at one place today again today we are going to be checking matthew 5 from verse 13 to 16 it is just four verses but believe me it's going to be a blessing unto me and unto you as well so let's quickly commit everything into the hand of our maker who is the abba the father in the name of the father the son and of the holy ghost patience of this king of glory i thank you for this great opportunity once again we have gathered again to study to learn to look unto you to meditate my god i say may you send your holy spirit to come speak through me for me, with me, to your amazing children, for your glory, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory, in Jesus' name. Amen. So, as I said, today we are going to be looking at the book of Matthew 5, from verse 13 to 16. And, as always, I'm using my good news, because good news simplifies things. Yes, I have other versions, but remember what I said. When I'm teaching or when I'm dealing with some beginners or, you know, for easy understanding, I go. Even with children, yes, uh, children's classes or youth classes, I go with good news. So that is what we are going to be doing today. Remember, open your Bible with me. Don't just read. Listen as I read or read from your phone, please. By all means, get your physical Bible because this is a blessed book when you believe in it. But remember how we do it. If you're still you're new or you still don't have your Bible, come with me with your phone, your tablet. Let's go. So, Matthew 5 from verse 13 to 16. Is talking about being the salt and the light. So let's go. You are like salt for the whole human race. But if salt loses its saltness, there is no way to make it salty again. It has become worthless. So it is thrown out and people trash on it. Oh my goodness, are you blown away like me? Are you shocked? I think being shocked is what I should say. Because it's not fun. Here, you're listening, you're hearing it. How Jesus is telling us that if you're not, if you're sought, we are meant to be sought and the light. And then he's busy describing the sort first. And he says, if, because you are meant to be sought, if you are sought and you have lost your taste, the saltness in you, then you are becoming useless. You are automatically useless. And you are going to be thrashed on the way so that the passerby will march on it. They are going to trample on top of it. This is not fun. Yeah, beloved, this is not fun. Remember, we are the salt. And this saltness, we will bring it closer to me and to you. What exactly does it mean? It means that God is saying that you have been set on this earth. Remember he said in Jeremiah 1 verse 5, that before you were conceived in your mother's womb, he knew you. And in your mother's womb, he set you apart for his wonders. And that is why he's the God that knows the end before the beginning. He has finished you. No wonder he made you fearfully and wonderfully. Because your full package, you cannot just be made anyhow. You're too full. You're too special that he can't even 
try to make a mistake, if God could make you fearfully and wonderfully, then why are you, are you just, you know, just lazing about? Why are you just procrastinating? Why are you just, why are you not achieving greatness? When we talk about greatness, remember we are not talking about riches, your wealth, your, we are talking about that blessing that carries all those you are looking for. And this saltness, being a salt, is that you become the hand and the leg for God. The salt is that you know what salt does. The, the three things I know that salt does is salt gives taste. It brings this flavor into food, into anything that is being added up on. Then salt also, like when you lose your, your flavor, the, the, the salt does not make any food sweet, but it gives this flavor. It gives its taste, which means you are the salt of the world. You're not supposed to be, you know, being sweet is doing your duties because we are now on prosperous gospel, on sweet declarations that when you're saying the, the truth, you know, the word of God is not always going to be sweet. When he's saying you should drop the way your waywardness, when God is saying that you should be obedient, that you should put him first and every other thing should be added. You're not going to like it. When he's saying that you should drop this, if he's waiting for you, he wants to bless you, he wants to showcase you, but this version of you needs to be broken into pieces. He need to process you so that you'll be worthy servant. You're not going to like it because you're comfortable with your selfishness. You might be comfortable with your anger. You might be comfortable with your gossiping. You might be comfortable with a whole lot of things. The list goes on, but I'm just mentioning but few. You see? So he's saying that you should, you know, it is about being a justice that whenever the truth calls, you are there, you're being the sort, you're representing Christ in a legit way, not with the rich, you're different, with the poor, you're different. No, you're representing Christ that even you mustn't carry this Bible before people know, you know. And also, number two, sort also brings preservation. We use sort to preserve, right? Good. So, you have to preserve those souls that are wandering around uh, uh, about. Remember that even your Bible said that the heaven rejoice over one repented sinner than the 99 already. That is why the person that is in charge of the sheep will leave 99 to go look for one that has run off. Imagine. So you can't just be overlooking. You can't just be saying that I'm going to do it tomorrow. There's no time. You can't just be saying that I'm still young. I cannot be used. God uses everybody equal. But I know that he must put you to test before he can put you in a heavy duty assignment. Because your, your riches, your, everything he gives you is for others. Then he has to make you to pass through some things. Test so that you will know it. That is why a true leader is not those that just climb on the seat, on royalty seat. It is those people that have been worked upon. It's those people that goes into leadership with tissues, with water, with soap, because they are going to be washing a lot of death on people. Not selfish leadership we are talking about. The main meaning of leadership, if you want to be the greatest, you have to be the servant, the smallest of them. So, are you hearing? And it's another thing that salt does is also it brings healing. You see? That broken hearted, those, those, those people that are discouraged, those people that are passing through challenges one or the other, those sick, those rich, but yet they are broken. God is saying you should become their healer. You should go. Either you mustn't give them money. People that need money, you know, and you have it by all means. But you, I will hear the youth say that because we don't have money, you can give encouragement. 
you can smile with people you can at least talk properly with them you can be in check of your values so that they will see that your way of living your behavior is something that i have to look out for your thoughts you bring this are you bitter or you're doing your duty so that's all and when you have lost all these things then you're going to be trashed remember that the man that left the servant with talents when he came back the one that buried his own on the ground he collected it and gave to the people that are producing so that should not be your case right good i want to believe that so let's check again verse 14 he says you are like light for the whole world a city built on a hill cannot be hidden no one lights a lamp and put it under a boy instead he puts it on the lampstand where it it gives light for everyone in the house you see you're the light and no one lights a lamp and put it under a boy or covers it rather he puts the light, the, the candle, the light on the candle stand, the lamp stand, so that it can give light to everyone that is coming in into the house. You see. And then what does it really say mean in your life? It's talking about that you are the light that you should be shining. You should be shining. You shouldn't be that, that God is feeding you. God is doing this. He's teaching you. He's building you. But yet, you're too shy. You know? You're too shy to just go about. You like your comfort zone. I don't have the energy it takes to just showcase this. Is. No, but God is saying that you should represent him one way or the other. You can be serving in any office in any area in any angle in that your office you can showcase christ in that your family in that in you there's no little office or big one anywhere you are showcase god be the light that people are seeing so that you will not be put under you see that's what is reminding me and you you should be giving light to people that comes inside the house. People that want to even know God. Are they going to see you or hear you or come across you? And they will say that, no, 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 no. You will just automatically make their faith to flush to the gutter. Or they are going to be eager to know your why. They are going to be eager to follow your faith. And that is what Christ is saying, that they should be eager to follow us. We should be the light that they see to come inside God's kingdom, God's vineyard. So, I want to believe that that is you. Because all of us are struggling, but he says that by all means, you should be the candle in the dark. Very important. You should be a candle in the dark that gives light to the whole hopeless so let's take the last verse verse 16 in the same way your light must shine before people so that they will see the good things you do and praise your father in heaven you see your light should be shining so bright that indeed people it will give them light and they will see what you do and thank the Almighty. Thank the Father in heaven. So remember that it's not about you. That is why you, when you read John 3 verse 30, it says, I will decrease in myself. Help me to decrease in myself so that you will increase in me. So that who takes the shame will also take the, 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 the praises. So that self-righteousness, so that self-worth will not be the end of you. He said that 
you should give light to people and they will be thanking the your god they will be thanking the almighty for coming across you for being the light for being the director of their savior of for being the light the director of their deliverance you're bringing salvation to them by being the light also when you study the book of luke 8 chapter 8 verse 16 to 18 Let's just check it. It says, people do not light a lamp and cover it with a boy or put it under a bed. <laughs> Instead, they put it on a lampstand so that people will see the light as they come in. The same thing. Whatever is hidden away will be brought out into the open. And whatever is covered up will be found and brought to light. Are you seeing? There's a twist to this. He's saying that whatever that is hidden, you see those, your secret, your secret, your secret attitude, your secret character, your secret lives that you're seeing that nobody is seeing. He said that God is going to bring it to the open so that everybody can see it. That is why it is dangerous when you, you, can, you can deceive others, you can do this or that, but you can't do that to God. And when God is expecting something from you and you become useless, and I want to believe that none of us, this tendency of for us to become useless because the devil is also fighting and we are also not eager but by all means, I want to believe that we are going to be so useful that we cannot be overlooked. We are going to be useful to the master. We are not going to be like that the, in the story of Good Samaritan. You remember the Levite left because of I don't want problem. And they remember that even the priest left and went to the church were left because he was late and the good samaritan helped not even minding the 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 issues between them at all so he was useful and others were useless remember the the prodigal son he wasted the whole money but this aspect of that man man good that son the prodigal son that is amazing because he came back and everything he came back with pure genuine repentance but at first we let's not forget that he he wasted everything so we are just checking it's not that we are judging him but we just want to pick the lessons and we shouldn't be like those that have been given talent and we waste it so in all this we should be useful to the master because when everything will be out in the open, then how many of us will be proud for all our life? There's no secret that will be hidden. Everything will be out in the open. Are we going to be safe? Are we going to be proud of our, our, of, of our life? Are we going to be saved by God? Are we going to, is God going to be happy with us? It's a good question that you should ask. So that when everything is out in the open, you will see be the light. So, verse 18, it says, Be careful then how you listen, because those who have something will be given more, but those who have nothing will be taken away from them, even the little they think they have. Wow, this is powerful. And just now that we talked about the product, uh, we talked about the, the, the story of the talent. The rich man and the servant, how he, the, 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 the one that wasted the, his talent by burying it on the, on the ground because the, the, the master is a hard man. Oh, he was taking away the one that he had. You see? So he's saying that if you, you become that light that is buried you have the gift of singing but you don't value it you don't use it you know you do a lot or you can just name it <coughs> 
and you wouldn't want the little you have to be taken away because when you're not using it of course it's going to be taken so that people that are making do with their own will have massive so that they can use it properly so you should be very careful you should be so determined to say that i am useful i am going to be light in the dark i'm going to be the candle in the dark by all means very important and i want to believe that in this journey that you are so eager to indeed finally start working for your maker we want to start being that daughter that son that he is proud of so by all means do that because that is where all the joy and all the fulfillment the peace lies the riches lies so thank you so much for being here with me again today and i want to believe that you will be going through this as we come again next week and we will come with another new something to learn so stay tuned take care of yourself and keep on coming closer to the father keep on making him your friend and keep on asking the holy spirit for direction and he will always be there for you because when you have known that your body is the temple of the holy ghost you're not holy spirit is a gentle spirit you're not chasing him away he will live with you and he will direct every step of yours and he will make you wise he will remind you those things that you have forgotten when the need arise so be good and remember that you should also subscribe like share you don't know who you'll be helping you don't know who will need it keep on sharing remember that the best way to share showcase your love is about sacrifice is by sharing your stuff it's not that hard so share and also comment below ask your questions comment below so that we will make it interactive and by then Keep on growing this unique family and this amazing community who will indeed be a huge blessing to humanity and also who God will be proud of. That is our goal. So remember that I'm still your servant, Lillian Sandy, aka Lillian Motivate, and this is Lillian Preach. Thank you so much and stay blessed. I love you. 